Hey fam, thank you so much for taking out the time to watch and being with me on this journey of season two. Um, today, I'm actually going to be sharing how God met like my accommodation needs on this trip before I even got here. Someone reached out to me on Instagram asking if I'm going to see if I can find that DM asking if I could um, come on her live session and I'm like sure she's like oh we're gonna be talking about gorgeous and godly gorgeous and godly I'm like okay cool 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 I prepared for it joined the live um, it was really amazing and after that um, we just kind of kept in touch not like speaking every time just basically following up on social media, seeing her posts, she seeing my posts. And then she asked if she could join like the Candy Christian group. And even speaking about Candy Christian, I should give you guys like gist on that. Oh, I think, yeah, I think that's like episode eight or nine. But yeah, so we get to that part. But yeah, she asked if she could join the group. Um, the Candy Christian group is a community that the Lord laid on my heart to start in April of 2020 yeah we were all on lockdown like worldwide at the time and yeah he laid it on my heart to start and we have grown immensely i've seen god's faithfulness in each and every one of our lives but this episode is not about that group but yeah so Bumi asked to join the group and um we kept in touch so she would join meetings we would share and then she's like oh she's writing this exam she didn't even tell me what the exam was about she's like ah, bella please let you and my sisters pray that's like the group as a whole we call each other sisters and um yeah we're sisters anyway she's like oh you guys should please keep me in prayers i'm writing this exam yada 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 and we did keep her in prayers and from time to time i'll check in with her hey how's it going how's preparations for the exam coming up i mean she had like one or two disappointments but then god came through and eventually um, it was she getting papers to relocate to the UK and she's a nurse so she got employed and the government the government here filed for her and everything was done and she's like Biola when you're sharing this testimony to me I'm like blown away and then she's like see eh, my house is open to you anytime you're in the UK just come just just let me know i'm going to house you and i know that the holy ghost like it would be like housing the presence of god and oh my god i'm like wow me but i was very excited and yeah so she kept checking me no Dabela, don't forget <laughs> don't forget my house is open to you when you're coming and it was just i mean we were like we had never met each other it was just she reaching out to me to come on her live video and then joining the group becoming sisters standing in the gap for each other and because she'll come on meetings share stuff encourage us singles because she's married with a handsome three-year-old oh my gosh i should put a picture of Addis Syria on myself anyway so fast forward to um when i was planning my trip to come i told her and she's like yeah, yeah, yeah sure just let me know this that that Do you know even prior to the trip i wasn't even ready but Bumi kept she just sorted out everything me being picked up from the, from the airport and then getting to the house and at her house she would cook meals for me like I didn't miss being in Lagos because she was cooking like actual Nigerian meals for me that were mad like even the things I wasn't eating in Lagos I was eating it here anyway so um God taught me like two really strong lessons um through her son and I'm just going to share one in this video. Um, I love arranging. Anybody that knows me, in fact, my like family and close friends like to say, oh, but I have OCD. But I beg to differ. I just like the place being clean. I mean, my father in heaven is well organized. So <laughs> I can't be anything less, right? And <laughs> that was a joke. But yeah, I, I actually love everything. Speak. And sp I don't even know the word. But yeah, you get the gist. Anyways. So every night I would clean up after that this year, he would have scattered all his toys in the living room. And that was my job. Like I told her, I'm like, Bumi, this is my area. Don't worry. Just leave it for me. Because she's like, no, no, sis, this. But I'm like, mm -mm, this is my area. I love it. And so every night I would pick up the toys after him, knowing the next morning this year is going to come and scatter the toys all over the place and then go back to sleep like at night. But it was just something I enjoyed doing. Like 
I did this every almost every night because I know there were like two nights where I was so tired, went to bed, but so happy to clean up. There was this day, I think it was a week to when I was leaving her house. I was going through like a really tough time. I was like really stressed mentally and it was beginning to affect me. And I was just making really rash decisions and it wasn't even funny guys it wasn't funny anyways i was picking up the toys this particular night and um i just heard like a, a strong thought just came to mind i knew it was the holy spirit and he's like i'm cleaning up your mess and then i kept quiet for a couple seconds to see what else comes to my um to mind and what what just came was the way you enjoy picking up after adi siri is how i enjoy picking up after you and um, guys my mind was blown away like my mind was blown away because i pick up his toys happily arrange it for him knowing tomorrow i'm going to wake up and i know he would have like the whole place was would have been upside down but it was amazing just learning that and truly i saw god clean up my mess you know how i said i made lots of rash decisions i saw him clean that up to the glory of his name in fact i'm just going to share the second thing thank you Holy Ghost, because it came to mind while I was talking. I'm like, I just, I know I have to. Anyway, so the other really cool thing with Adesiri was after the second day, it me like he started calling me my auntie. And his mom and dad would be like, what do you mean my? Is she your property? <laughs> why, why do you care? Because he'd be like, mommy, don't talk to my auntie. Or he just always wanted to be around me. My auntie, this, this, this. My auntie, that. And his, like, just that possessiveness in quotes like he would want to let me in on everything he was doing my auntie this that that like he's always giving me juice he, my auntie can i stay with you i'm like yeah sure you can and he'll sit with me i'll be working he'll be on his on his phone either um drawing or playing a game or something or he'll bring his building blocks to the room and say my auntie let's play together i'm building a tower for you i'm building a fire truck for you like he was always building me things gosh i miss him so much anyway so the lord showed me that um, that's how he wants me to be like a child and just embrace him embrace all because I just really loved me like he just even his dad was saying one day that he doesn't get this love because there was a day I was washing the kitchen he wanted to stay there with me and I wanted to eat his, eat his like I just really that doesn't like eating he's like my auntie let's eat together so he was always wanting to be with me if he's going out he will come to the room and say my auntie i'm going out now see you tomorrow i'll see you later like it was so cool so cool and yeah i really miss him but yeah that was adi siri and the lord was just showing me this is how i want you to be with me and after that after that revelation i started personalizing it when i spoke to god or sorry spoke to my friends and i remember having like a documentary interview with um my friend shay for um student meets graduates my the project i talked about earlier and he's like why do you keep monopolizing god i'm like i don't get it and it wasn't even intentional like after that revelation i'm just like oh my my like my father my holy ghost like my jesus and he's like I've just noticed this about you, like you personalize God, but I'm like, well, I didn't realize, but it was just so strong. And every day I'm learning to be a child. I loved when he would come to, Adesir would come to me and he's like, auntie, what do you think I should make? I'm like, um, do you want to build me a bus? He'll be like, hmm, okay, let's make a bus. And then, so it's like, he wanted me in on the things he was doing and it just made me smile just see him being himself and if anything that was something that god just let me know through him and through the book that i said i was reading the purpose driven life um he's like i just want you to be yourself like i smile when you're yourself and that's just something i wanted to leave us with or rather he would have me leave us with and let me just go straight to um, the anchor scripture so it's from matthew 18 verse 1 to 5 i'll be reading in the nlt about that time the disciples came to jesus and asked who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven jesus called a little child to him and put the child among them then he said i tell you the truth unless you turn from your sins and become like little children you will never get into the kingdom of heaven so anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And that was just so profound for me because even just telling him things like, 
he would see me editing and he'll be like auntie what is this and then i explain to him and he's like oh cool can i watch you edit so he'll see you sit beside me and then we'll, we'll edit together and then he'll keep asking questions who is this man who is this what is this oh can i see it again and it was just so cool like it was really cool so i just wanted to um share that um based on what i mean it's the lord that would have me share this and he wanted us to meditate on something so how can you become childlike so you're asking yourself how can i become childlike and if you're having trouble with that he's like ask my holy spirit to help you have simple trust because it's like it's just basically having simple trust anything i told that is serious anything his dad or his mom said to him he believed it so just believed and went through there was a day he was trying to open my box and i'm like a monster will come from it and he's like a monster okay no and <laughs> I felt so bad for lying to him afterwards, but I didn't want him to open the box. And yeah, but it was just really cool. And I just, um, I guess, let me just sh share a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for your love. Thank you for everything you're teaching us. We ask, oh God, that you help us have simple trust like a child. Help us be like Adesire, like how you were teaching me through him. Help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. Please like this video, share it. Um, leave a comment on how you're being childlike. Leave a comment on what stood out to you. Um, yeah, and I'll see you on the next one. Grace and peace.